Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Doctor's Corner. Today, we are going to discuss about Bain Bridge Reflex. So, what is this Bain Bridge Reflex? So, in the year 1918, uh, Arthur Bainbridge, one scientist, a British scientist, okay, he is basically a physiologist and pathologist. So, he did one experiment on the anesthetized dogs. So, what he did was in an anesthetized dogs, he infused, he infused the normal saline or blood, then that in, due to that uh, infusion which is going through the venous system, that is the saline and the blood, uh, there were, what he noted was there was increase in the heart rate, okay. So, there was increase in the heart rate. So, the basically whenever there is increase in the atrial pressure or the central venous pressure, so it increase in the atrial pressure, that is pressure in the atrium more specifically in the right atrium so if there is an increase in the atrial pressure then it leads to increase in the heart rate so this phenomena is known as Bainbridge reflex so now what's the definition of the Bainbridge reflex so if there is increase in the atrial pressure or increase in the central venous pressure then there is a reflexly increase in the heart rate so that phenomena it is known as Bainbridge reflex which was uh, discovered by Arthur Bainbridge in the year 1918 after his experiments on the anesthetized dogs okay again in that experiment what he did was he sectioned or cut the venous uh, vagus nerve okay so what happened was uh, again he repeated this experiment that is infusion of the saline will or didn't raise the blood uh, heart rate so it didn't raise the raise the heart rate so that means the vagus nerve is the main mediator of this uh, reflex okay so it was done in the dog so after that many experiments were done so that experiments didn't suggest uh, this reflex may present in the humans or the primates uh, but again further so many experiments were done so it was uh, realized that uh, this reflex uh, takes place in the humans also especially one such example is after uh, normal labor or delivery due to the uh, uteroplacental blood flow increase in the uteroplacental blood flow after the birth of an infant then that around 800 ml of the blood will go go, go to the cardiovascular system it is increase in the venous pressure will causes this increase reflexly increase in the heart rate okay so if the initial heart rate is more then this reflex is not seen if the initial heart rate is less or normal then this reflex is seen so let us see what is the mechanism of this reflex mechanism how exactly this uh, increase in the atrial pressure or the pressure in the atrium or the central venous pressure causes the increase in the heart rate so you know whenever there is a, whenever there is an increase in the venous return okay increase in the venous return increase in the venous return will causes the uh, increase in the atrial pressure increase in the atrial pressure or atrial filling so due to that there is stimulation of the stretch receptors which are present in the atria basically these receptors are the uh, volume receptor that is they will respond to the change in the volume on the other hand we have one more mechanism for the control or the regulation of the heart rate that is baroreceptor reflex so baroreceptors generally senses the change in the pressure here these are the volume uh, receptor basically so the because of the increase in the atrial receptors there is stretch of this atrial uh, receptors and due to the stretch of this atrial receptors the ultimately there is increase in the heart rate again so the increase in the heart rate is about 75 percent of the normal out of that 75 percent uh, around 15 to 20 percent of the increase in the heart rate is mediated directly due to the stimulation of the SA node because of the stretching of the right atrium SA nodes also get stimulated and it leads to the increase in the heart rate due to SA node stimulation okay so 15 to 20 percent increase is due to the SA node direct stimulation SA node stimulation and then remaining 40 to 60 percent of the uh, uh, stimulation 40 to 60 percent of the increase in the heart rate is mediated through the vagus nerve that is through the vagus nerve that is the afferent fibers so that from the atrial stretch receptors the signal goes through the vagus nerve that is the afferent fibers through the vagus nerve the signal goes to the medulla so signal goes to the medulla that is where the vasomotor center or the cardiovascular 
regulating centers are situated so the in the medulla medulla is the center so the medulla will again through the help of the efferent fibers efferent again is due to the vagus as well as due to the sympathetic stimulation or the sympathetic fibers so the efferent fibers includes both vagus as well as the sympathetic fibers to the heart so through this ultimately there is increase in the heart rate it is the another 40 to 60 percent of the increase in the heart rate is seen so what is the basic uh, reflex when this reflex means increase in the central venous pressure or increase in the atrial pressure causes the increase in the heart rate how much increase around 75 percent of the normal basal what was there so out of that uh, 75 percent 50 to 20 percent of the heart rate increases directly due to the direct stimulation of the sa node because of the stretching of the atria then the remaining 40 to 60 percent is mediated <coughs> through this reflex pathway the afferent fibers is through the vagus nerve and the efferent fibers is through the vagus nerve and the sympathetic uh, fibers both and the main center is in the medulla that is the vasomotor centers so they Will inhibit the vagal flow and it will increase the sympathetic discharge so ultimately there is increase in the heart rate okay so <clears throat> so this is the mechanism of uh, uh, bain bridge reflex now what is the importance of this bain bridge reflex or clinical importance so due to the increase in the heart rate it will pump the blood and remove the blood from the atria and the veins and all so due to that uh, pumping increase in the uh, heart rate the more amount of the blood from the atria is uh, gone away so the atrial pressure will fall down and it will come back to the normal and again more amount of the blood can be uh, can come to the atria so it will prevent the damming of the blood in the atria and the venous system this is one of the importance and also we see this uh, reflex in the sinus res respiratory sinus arrhythmia so as you are aware that during the inspiration there is increase in the heart rate as compared to the expiration so again this mechanism comes into the play during the inspiration that is the intrathoracic pressure decreases then uh, due to that there is increase in the venous return which leads to the increase in the atrial pressure and the stretching of the atrial stretch receptors which ultimately causes the increase in the heart rate okay so this is all about the bain bridge reflex if you like our video please uh, subscribe our channel doctor's corner on the youtube and also uh, share the link with your friends and do comment give your feedback and like our video thank you very much